The evolution of locomotion plays a defining influence in how an organism lives. How something acquires food, shelter, and even how they reproduce can all be linked back to their movement capabilities. Within this video, we will look at locomotion, specifically with regards to mice that run or hop. Is one mode of transport better than the other as a means to escape predation? When you picture a mouse running, you most likely picture it using all four of its legs in a rapid scurry run. The mouse is using quadrupedal locomotion, which is the most common mode of transport among rodents. It is important for mice to be able to burst into high speed running to avoid their predators, and their body shows adaptations for this form of locomotion. If we look at their hind limbs, long parallel muscle fibres in the hamstring provide joint control and the ability to produce fast muscle contractions, resulting in high power and speed. Another adaptation are the tendons in the hind limb of the mouse. The tendons work as springs and reduce the work amount for the muscles. Having these different muscles is critical for the mouse when a sudden disturbance requires it to maintain stability of its body during high speed running. Why have these locomotion adaptations? It is shown that the interaction between predator and prey influences the evolution of locomotion adaptations. To successfully escape predators, such as owls or foxes, a specialised morphology is required. Running mice have hind limbs, providing speed and stability. This morphology is useful in the mice's habitat. When choosing habitats, mice use smell, a sense dominating their world. Their predators usually defecate in the same area as they hunt. Mice dislike the smell of carnivore feces and can by that avoid high risk areas. Most mice, such as the native little mouse, choose dense vegetation, often with shrubs that provide shelter and food. The mouse prefers to avoid predators altogether. When it needs to escape, their morphology shows adaptations for effective running in their chosen habitat. However, there are some small mice that have gone one step further and evolved to have the ability to hop, also known as bipedal gait. There are four families of rodents that display this bipedal gait, with all four families sharing the same type of habitat in desert-like ecosystems. This shift to hopping requires different bone and muscle structure. As a result, hopping mice, like the Spinifex hopping mouse, have developed elongated hind legs that are disproportionately larger when compared to those of a regular mouse. As well as these longer bones, the muscle structure also differs with hopping mice, possessing shorter muscle fibers and longer tendons. To add to this, they have also developed a tuft of fur on the tip of their tail, which is theorized to aid in balance. These changes have developed separately in each family, also known as convergent evolution, in response to their predation. Those that can avoid being eaten survive to reproduce. Yet the physical act of avoiding the predators may not have been the only driving force in this adaptation. Hopping mice also have a heightened sense of hearing due to an enlarged area within their middle ear. This auditory bulla allows the mouse to hear more low frequency sounds like those made by their predators as they approach. This side effect of this adaptation is that the larger skull alters the center of gravity, resulting in the bipedal movements to be favored over running on all four feet. Living in arid open environments with little cover, hopping mice have evolved to encounter and evade their predators more often than other mice. Having these adaptations enables the animal to jump vertically as a first response, followed by a higher speed and maneuverability to throw off and escape their predators. A repercussion of these vertical jump adaptations is that the tendons are too thick to store any useful amount of elastic energy and are more designed for reaching high speeds. Despite this, some studies show that hopping mice do use less energy over long distances compared to quadruped mice which enables them to travel between scarce food sources in the arid environment. There are other drawbacks to these specialized adaptations, being that they expend more energy traveling at lower speeds and spend more energy when digging their burrows. Having longer hind legs also make traversing dense shrubs hard, and it has been shown that they will often ignore a food source if the vegetation is too thick, leaving it available for other mice that do not hop. By looking at how and why these mice developed different locomotion adaptations, you could argue that hopping mice are better at evading their predators once discovered. 
However, we cannot say that one mode of transport is outrightly better than the other to avoid predation. Each animal has adapted to their specific environment. The quadruped mice and their use of dense shrubs to avoid predators altogether, and the biped mice that forage with little to no cover to use as protection.